One of the most popular things to get ready for deer season is to practice shooting. Let's join Wade down at the range as he practices with his Smith & Wesson handguns. Yeah, that was the first one. That was the second one. Shooting the 10 mil here from Smith & Wesson. And I really like this round. I hunted with it a little bit last year and actually missed one. And uh, shot a pig, shot some other things. Kind of just down here practicing, getting, getting loose. You can never practice enough. When I'm practicing, I like to shoot off a of rest. I like to shoot free-handed. I like to shoot as I'm gonna I'm going to hunt so that I can simulate it. So I'm always putting a bog grip or some kind of a tripod up, shooting off sandbags, whatever it may be, just so that I can, you know, kind of just get a lot of different feels off of it. Right now I'm shooting about 25 yards, I think. My first two shots when I aimed, I was aiming a little high on that target and they were up there. My next two are now a little low and left right there side by side. And, you know, it's it's part of the practice, getting used to that trigger pull to getting more comfortable with it. So everything becomes second nature in the hunting scenario. So I put my last three right in there together. Uh, kill zone would have been perfect on everything I was trying to do with this so it makes me feel good this this gun here has been really fun to shoot um, I'm anxious to learn more about the ammo and how it's going to perform on all the different uh, game species we hunt, hunt with it I mean it's a you know I know there's going to be people that are going to shoot it further than, than what I feel comfortable that the ammo and the handgun can do but at the end of the day it's about what each individual person is comfortable with and what they can do in any in any hunting situation. I think we're going to shoot a little bit of freehand now. This is obviously a little more challenging without the rest. I mean, I'm, I'm a firm believer in most, the more points of contact you can get, the better you're going to be. Uh, when you go freehand in a, in a situation, any type of a situation, obviously you're losing contact points that help balance the gun. And it's, you know, as you get older, you shake more. I mean, I know I do. Some people are just better shots too. So shooting off the rest, I had these three shots right here, this one and this one. My last two free hands, I've been way high, uh, which is, is really unusual for me. So uh, it's all about the trigger pull. It's all about the break over for me. The grouping is, you know, two shots are good. Where I was aiming and where I hit, that wasn't so good. That's why you practice. You know, practicing, is something I think is it's important in anything. It doesn't matter whether it's sports, business, shooting. I mean, it's just something we all need to do more of if we're gonna be good at something. Practicing to simulate what you are gonna be encountering or expecting to encounter is even more important. If you can simulate uh, as much as feasibly possible during practice what you would encounter in the field, distances. You know, is it going to be freehand shots? Is it going to be off of a rest? Is it going to be cold and you're going to be bundled up? Is it going to be super hot and your hands are sweaty? All of those things, if you can simulate them and you can practice in them, it's going to help with the muscle memory. It's going to help alleviate those nerves a little bit at the moment of truth if you're, if you're into handgun hunting.